Well, we're at the end of the day here in Golden Beach. It's time to cook up some dinner. I'm gonna make my version of a very basic wombat stew. Now, this is the easiest stew you will ever make in your entire life. And the beauty is that this stew is all about just whatever you happen to have, some basic vegetables, a bit of meat, chop it up, chuck it in the camp oven on the coals. It really is as simple as that. So we'll chuck some potatoes in. And it's actually remarkable how quickly the stew will actually cook on the coals. I actually reckon that's enough potatoes. We'll chuck some carrots in. As you can see, I am not being precious. We'll give these a bit of a peel. And I tell you what, if you knew me, you'd be pretty impressed that I remember to bring a peeler. I'm actually also pretty impressed that Marvel isn't trying to eat the food. She's a good dog. Also chuck in an onion. Don't laugh at my knife skills. All right, I reckon we can pop that in. This stew is all about whatever is easiest. Bang. I'm also gonna chuck in some mushrooms because mushrooms are great. I also got some baby Roma tomatoes. We'll chuck them in. A Little bit of pumpkin. They will never hire me to run a cooking show, will they? I reckon you'd get rid of the rind. My mum used to actually make me eat the pumpkin rind. She thought it was good for the bowels. We'll get rid of the pips, probably don't want them. Hey girl, do you like the look of this stew? The fire's looking good, but we do need to wait until it's uh, burned down enough that we've got enough hot coals. Now it's time to throw in some sausages. You know what, I reckon you could throw these sausages in whole if you wanted to. I'll chop them, but you could literally just throw these in whole. And now we have some lamb loin chops that we will toss in. Okay, that pot is just about full. And just for fun, we've got a bit of garlic powder, so let's sprinkle a little bit of that in. Couldn't hurt. Bit of beef stock. I guess you could use vegetable stock. And last, I have a bit of spice mix. This is for deviled sausages with a blend of real herbs and spices. So it doesn't get any better than that. But honestly, you can use any spice mix that really takes your fancy. I mean, this whole stew is about what you have, but I know from experience that this devil sausage mix is pretty good. And that is all there is to it. It's just a matter of popping on the lid. We'll wait for the coals to settle, leave it for, I don't know, 10 to 20 minutes. We'll check it and I reckon it'll be done. Ooh, that is looking all right. Maybe just another few minutes, I reckon. That pumpkin's still a little bit firm. The old wombat stew has been on the coals for 20 odd minutes, so we'll take it off. It should be done by now. Okay, let's give it a try. That is fantastic. Something about fire just makes food good. So there you go. That is my wombat stew. We didn't even use any wombats. Well, maybe one or two.